guys, it's me. Um, normally, I don't really make videos in my dorm room. However, I feel as though, as someone who makes a lot of musical theater related content, I can't be silent about this issue. I do not think I have ever become more disillusioned about anything than I am about the Broadway industry right now. In case you have not heard, it has recently come out that Scott Rudin, a very famous producer of Broadway and film and television has been physically and mentally abusive to many of his employees. Some of these stories that I read before making this video, they were absolutely unreal. Um, one, one person alleges that he broke a computer monitor over an employee's head, causing them to have to go to the hospital. Another employee said that he threw a cooked potato at them. And there are also multiple allegations of him saying incredibly racist things. For example, alleging that president at the time, Barack Obama, must like Kevin Hart comedy and the movie 12 Years a Slave. I don't like to get angry on this channel. I like to be positive. But there's, there is a time to be angry. And I think that time it is right now. <sighs> so, Karen Olivio, who you may be familiar with, uh, from her work in the original Broadway cast of In the Heights as Vanessa, in addition to her roles as Anita in West Side Story, Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton, and relevant to this video, Satine in Moulin Rouge. Now, I actually have not listened to Moulin Rouge, so I will not pretend to be an expert on this musical. I haven't even watched the movie. Uh, they have decided that they are not going to be returning to the Broadway production of Moulin Rouge as Satine when Broadway reopens. And I, for one, think that was incredibly brave of her. I, I completely understand why she is doing it. Um, I feel incredibly proud because sometimes, sometimes I wonder, um, I never could have predicted anything like this, but I wonder if I was in some sort of environment where I had the lead in a musical and my life was, was good, but there was something really bad happening behind the scenes. I often wonder if I could do that same thing. And frankly, I don't know that I could. So, Karen Olivio, you're definitely not watching this, but 
you you really are the definition of walking the walk and what you are doing is important. However, I cannot name a single other actor who has spoken about this issue at all. The main Broadway news outlets, Playbill.com and Official Broadway World, have said nothing about this issue. Oh, I'm being kind of loud. I mean, it's okay to be loud, it's just that we're approaching quiet hours, so. These are people that, that we as a Broadway community, uh, the people who love musicals, these are the people that we are supposed to look up to? Karen Olivio made a five minute video explaining that basically to them doing the right thing was more important than putting more money in her own pockets. Plenty of these Broadway actors can afford to be standing up for their fellow man. So why aren't they? I frankly I don't I will always love musicals. I will always love theater. But I think when I'm listening to soundtracks now, I'm gonna go into it with a little more doubt in my shoulders. With a few grains of salt in my pocket, just in case. I'm not gonna say that I wanna be just like any of these actors anymore. And the thing is, who even knows how many other abuses in the Broadway circuit have just been covered up for so long? How many times was a news outlet almost going to report on one of these issues, but then got paid off? And furthermore, how many regional and community theaters do you think are dealing with these exact same issues? I have not always had the perfect experience with my community theater endeavors, but I am lucky enough that I have never been outright abused by one of my directors. If I ever find out that a director I worked with or am working with hurting other people like this. I cannot support that. I would have to leave the show. Even if it was my dream show or my dream role. It's like Karen Olivio said, there are things that are more important than me or any one person and their dreams. Dreams are not worth it if you have to step on the backs of other people to get them, whether you know it or not. We need to do better. And I'm just a random girl from, the, from nowhere near Broadway. I don't know how or where we're supposed to start at all, but things like this are going to continue if we don't do something.
we can't just change the system. We need a new system.